Hello students, this is Mr. McAllen, and today we're going to be working with finding domain of rational functions, and these are simple rational functions, and we're going to use limit statements to help describe uh, behavior of horizontal and vertical asymptotes. So this will be something new that you may not have used before. So let's start off with a simple problem. Um, for example, for a reciprocal function f of x is 1 over x minus 4, find the domain of the function. Now this is pretty simple. We all should know that uh, x can't be equal to 4 because otherwise we have a domain issue because we're trying to divide by 0. Use limits to describe the behavior of f of x uh, at values of x not in its domain. So basically what they want us to do, um, this is a, a um, reciprocal function like 1 over x that's been moved to the left, I'm sorry, moved right by 4 units. So we go right four units, we would draw our vertical asymptote. We know that 1 over x has an asymptote that goes that way at x equals 4, and we have another asymptote at x equals 0. Now, we know that the function also, if we use test points, uh, we could put a point 0.5 in, and we would have a, a point here, so we'd see that we have the hyperbola in these two locations. But now we need to describe this behavior using a limit statement. So we want to do a limit for, let's say this way, as x approaches um, 4, but this little plus sign is going to mean from the right-hand side. So I'm going to write the limit as x approaches 4 from the right-hand side. f of x is going to equal, you can see here, it's going up to infinity. So I'm going to write down that limit goes to infinity. So you can see that. Now the other limit is coming in from the left hand side of 4. So this is x approaches 4 from the left. So my second limit to describe behavior at vertical asymptote would be x approaches 4 from below 4, that's what the negative sign means, uh, f of x is going to equal negative infinity because as x goes this way towards 4, the function is going to head towards negative infinity. Let's move along and look at another example. Let's say that we have a, well let's look at the directions. Describe how the graph of the given function can be obtained by tra transforming uh, the graph of the reciprocal function. So that's kind of what we did in the last problem. Identify, oh in this case, both horizontal and vertical asymptotes and use limits to describe the corresponding behavior. So this is a transformed um, hyperbolic function moved left 3 so it kind of starts out the same way we just worked before so we're at x equals 3 so I'm going to draw my vertical asymptote I'll change colors for my horizontal asymptote and you should remember this just from the um, just from the uh, you know, our apparent function knowledge. I know the hyper hyperbola looks like this. And now I have four different limit statements can, that can describe behavior to this function. For instance, we'll do the ones that we know from before. The limit as x goes to infinity of f of x, so that would be as a function heads out this way, x is going to infinity. That limit, um, the function value is heading to, is heading to a zero value. I can look over here at um, what's happening as x heads to negative infinity. That limit would be the limit as x goes to negative infinity of f of x. That's going to head to 0 as well. On the limit as x approaches, as x approaches um, 3, but from the left, that would be my limit limit as x approaches, this, this, this limit will describe the vertical asymptote. As x approaches 3 from the left of f of x, that's going to head to negative infinity. And then we have the other limit as x approaches 3 from the right of f of x, that's going to head off to positive infinity. So here are your four 
limit statements. You have two that describe the end behavior, the left end and the right end. So this is the right end, and this is left end. And then you have, for every vertical asymptote, you have two limits that describe what's happening on the right side of that x value of 3 and the left side of that x value of 3. So we're going to practice this tomorrow in class, but I figured I'd show you in a video in case you ever need to refresh your memory. If you're given a, um, this is clearly a rational function, um, but you're going to have, you can transform this rational function by doing the long division, and it will actually look like a transformed um, hyperbolic function. So if we do the long division, that might be a good way to set up the start of this problem. And notice I have a linear term over a linear term. So I know that I have a domain issue. I know the domain is uh, x can't be equal to negative 3. So I know. So what you can do to put this to condition this equation is if you do the long division, and the simple long division, um, you'll see that it uh, turns out to be a nice transformed hyperbolic function or reciprocal function. So if I do the if I do the long division, I multiply this by two to match up. So I get two x. It's just really one step. Two x plus six, and I subtract the terms. I'm going to get um, negative five as my remainder. So I'll have two minus five over x plus three. So by doing this division, I can show that that equals 2 minus 5 over x plus 3. And now when I draw up that equation, I know that my, you know, if I'm comparing it to 1 over x, the 1 over x function has moved up to, it's been flipped over the y, over the x-axis. Um, it's been moved left 3. So, I, you know, so if I go left 3, here's my asymptote. It's been moved up 2, so up 2 is where my horizontal asymptote has gone. And the function's been flipped, so it's no longer here and here, but it's on this side and on this side. And now I can describe my four limit statements the way I did before. So let me, I'll write down right next to each one. So over here, this would be the limit as x goes to infinity. Let me write this neater. Limit as x goes to infinity, f of x is heading to 3. This limit here, this will be the limit as x goes to negative infinity, f of x is heading to 3. This part, this would be the limit as x heads to negative 3 from the right. That's heading to negative infinity. And this limit here, that would be the limit as x is heading to 3, I'm sorry, to negative 3 from the left. Remember, I'm on the left side of that asymptote of f of, f of x is heading to infinity. So here are your four limit statements that describe the behavior around, well, left end, right end, and the two, the left and the right asymptote for the vertical asymptote. Hopefully this video kind of uh, lays out a couple things for you as far as how to use vertical asymptotes and construct limits at those vertical asymptotes. And, um, you know, there'll be more of discussion tomorrow in class when we go over this as well. So. Uh, thanks for watching, and I look forward to hearing your comments.